So if you have one of these, an iPad or a Galaxy tablet, then you also have an alternative to something like Wacom Cintiq, which will let you access your painting software on your computer. So let's take a look at what your options are real quick. Hello, Ryan here, keyboard monkey at drawyourweapon.com, artist painting under the name IQ, and firstly, happy 2022. If last year was a bit of a cruddy one for you, I hope this year is much better, more creative, more productive. But let's jump into today's topic, which is turning this iPad of mine into a pen display. Now, normally I like to bounce around between painting in Procreate using the 2020 iPad Pro or working in Photoshop with the 2013 Intuos Pro on my laptop. I haven't worked on a dedicated pen display before, but I'd seen some people use their iPad together with their Mac using Sidecar as a display tablet, but that the drawing experience wasn't all that great. Then came along AstroPad, which really change that whole scenario. It's designed with artists and designers in mind. Up until now though, that has only been available to Mac OS users. At the moment, they do have their public beta called Project Blue, which is available on their website. It's free at the moment. It's still in development. There are more features to be added, a bit more control over your pressure curve and that kind of thing. But so far, I'm really impressed with, with how it works. There's also Easy Canvas Pro, works just as well. Got an affordable annual subscription rate. And then I also tested out Duet Pro. Now, with that, you have to first buy the base product, Duet Display, and then you can sign up for the seven day trial of Duet Pro, which unlocks the uh, pen pressure sensitivity and a few added features. But I found that that didn't work quite so well with my hardware and software combination. Photoshop, which is my main software for, for painting, didn't really work so well. But that could just have something to do with the version of Photoshop that I'm using. In Clip Studio Paint though, it worked perfectly fine. In this video though, we're going to look mainly at, at AstroPad and Easy Canvas, both of which can be connected using a wired or wireless connection. But depending on the type of router you have and Wi-Fi connection, you might find that there is slightly higher latency. So to minimize that, you definitely want to go with the USB connection. But let's just jump into a drawing test. I'll show you what it's like drawing in each of them and I'll do a little painting time lapse. Okay, firstly, Clip Studio Paint using AstroPad. I'm just going to use an ink brush here, use the brush pen, set to change size with, with pressure, that's its default. And let's have a look. That's really nice and smooth, very happy with that. Quick strokes, it handles very well too. Pinching to zoom and rotate, not bad not bad at all. Uh, here we've got this little red dial which brings up your workspace which is quite nice. Uh, you can change your brush size, switch between eraser and brush, uh, zoom in and out, quite nifty. You can bring up your quick keys here where you've got your windows key, alt, shift, control, that kind of thing. You've even got a keyboard you can bring up. In the future you will be able to edit the shortcuts that you have available. And you do have some settings with, with your pen. The main one here being uh, your pressure curve. At the moment, you only have soft and hard pressure settings, but with the final release, it seems like you will get full control over your pressure curve, which is great. Uh, very happy with that. If we switch over now to Critter, normal brush, size to pressure, here the lines look a little bit more jagged, but also look how many times I'm having to make a stroke for it to register. This is this is a problem that makes AstroPad and Critter together just unusable, which is unfortunate because I do quite like using using Critter at the moment. Uh, I don't know if it is a Critter or AstroPad issue, uh, but hopefully it's something that that will come right in the future, um, or maybe it's just some weird. Uh, a weird quirk with with my setup these things do happen you know technology can just be a little finicky that way but project blue the public beta of astropad is free at the moment so you can test it out and if it doesn't work then that's fine you can rather switch over to to easy canvas where everything works fine in, in critter if we move over to to photoshop here quick strokes handles very well and pressure control and everything, super nice. I don't have the 
uh, touch gestures here, unfortunately, or at least to, to pinch and zoom. I do have the magic gestures like being able to activate the eraser by putting one finger down and then the pen and that activates the eraser. I actually really like that to, to, to activate the eraser. Very, very nice, very handy. So that is, that's Astral Paris Project Blue. Excited to see how this gets refined further for the final release. Now let's jump over to Easy Canvas. Firstly, Clip Studio Paint works. That works great. Uh, quick Strokes as well. No issues. I actually feel like this is a little nicer. Very happy with that. Touch gestures also. Little. I feel a bit more in control here with with Easy Canvas uh, than I did with with AstroPad. Um, latency is fairly similar uh, happy with how that works glad the gestures are working if we jump over into Photoshop let me drag this over I'm using multiple displays here now regular brush pressure is all good Quick strokes, it handles fine. No issues. Again, no no touch gestures for me, except this kind of thing happening. Um, but that, again, is maybe just a Photoshop version issue for me. Uh, others who are using updated versions uh, and newer versions of Photoshop might not have this problem. Here at the bottom, you've also got this toolbar. I forgot to mention that at the beginning, uh, which is also quite nifty, like you have with, uh, with AstroPad. You do have the ability to adjust your pressure curve and you can also change the menu bar uh, shortcuts that are here and you can also hide it if you don't want to use that at all that's fine you can you can put it away so very nice let's now jump over to, to critter quickly and in critter if I have everything set correctly. Pressure works well. Most strokes are registering. It's a little laggy here, but I do have multiple programs running with different different painting software open at the same time, so it might just be my system that's taking some strain. But most of the strokes are registering. Every now and then one doesn't, but it's not a big deal. This is still perfectly usable. Very happy with that. Uh, for some reason, the touch. There we go. Touch gestures worked fine. No problems. So, so yeah, Easy Canvas works works well with all the software that I'm likely to use. I haven't tested this out in Blender yet because I'm still a total noob, but I suspect things should work uh, perfectly fine in there as well. Cool, so I'm actually going to take this for a proper spin now. I'm going to work in Easy Canvas and try to do a little painting, see, see what we come up with. So to really improve the fantasy portraits and stuff that I've been doing of late, I feel like I need to up my understanding of the the planes of the face and the skull and how lighting impacts that. So I'm going to do a little skull study here and then I want to chat a little bit about pricing and compatibility with AstroPad and Easy Canvas. It's important to just make sure you're getting the right version for your combination of things. If you are working on a Windows machine and you want to go the AstroPad route, make sure you're getting Project Blue as it is at the moment. If you're on a Mac, AstroPad also has two different versions. You have the standard and the studio version. Standard has a once-off payment, whereas the studio version has more features and then a subscription model. Easy Canvas, on the other hand, has a way more affordable subscription model. So depending on your needs, you might want to go with that. But there are two different versions of, of Easy Canvas. There's the regular version and the pro version and each have slightly different compatibility. One works with Android devices 
and the other doesn't the one works with mac the other one doesn't so just make sure you're you're getting the right one easy canvas definitely has affordability working in its favor but astropad is a bit more feature rich and gives you a bit more control and customizability to suit your workflow both options do have a trial period as well which is great so you can test which suits your needs astropad has a 30-day trial on its studio version whereas easy canvas pro has got a 14-day trial So that about covers it. I've got to say I'm quite impressed with how well this works. I really like the added versatility of being able to take my iPad out on its own to a coffee shop, paint around in, in Procreate, and then when I get back to my desk, just hook it up to my workstation and turn my iPad into an extended display. I can put my reference up or I can use it as an actual display tablet to, to draw in Photoshop with. If you are trying to decide between a smaller pen display or an iPad, this is maybe an option that you want to consider. Of course, you will be limited to 12.9 inches in the iPad Pro. In terms of software, both Easy Canvas and Astro Pads Project Blue work really well, though I did feel like Easy Canvas had that slight edge in terms of low latency and also broader compatibility with the different drawing apps. But hopefully all that will be resolved with the final Windows release of AstroPad. They are going to be adding in a few more features, giving better control over your pressure sensitivity. So I'm quite excited to test that when it comes out. But both of these options work, work really well. If you are on an Android tablet though, you're going to have to go with Easy Canvas. But what do you think? Are you using either of these in your painting illustration 3D process? Let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear from you, especially if you are using this for 3D because I haven't tested this out using Blender yet. For now though, that's all from me. I've got one last video that I want to do in the studio before we pack everything up and head over to distant shores and that's going to be all about this canvas in the works behind me. But until then, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this helpful and interesting and if you did, please leave the old thumbs up, leave a comment below and until the next video, happy drawing, stay well.